If you're dealing with bloating, food sitting in your stomach after meals, or reflux, this might be the real reason. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Rolfson. I'm part of the clinical team here at Diagnostic Solutions Lab. All day long, we get questions about H. pylori, and I wanna to talk to you about this organism and how it can affect your stomach acid. H. pylori has one big survival trick. It can reduce your stomach acid. It does so in two ways. One is by decreasing the output of acid by the cells lining the stomach, and another is neutralizing the acid using urease enzymes. The result is generally a net decrease in your overall stomach acid, and this can be problematic, even if the H. pylori is not causing big symptoms like inflammation, ulcers, and gastritis. Here's the issue. Your body needs that acid. Stomach acid kickstarts protein digestion. It sterilizes incoming food, killing off potentially pathogenic bacteria. It helps with nutrient absorption like iron and protein and signals the whole digestive cascade, including pancreatic enzyme output. When acid is low, digestion slows, food ferments, and bacteria start growing where bacteria are not supposed to grow at high levels. This leads to symptoms like gas and bloating and surprisingly, acid reflux. Because the sphincter at the top of your stomach is acid sensitive, it needs to have a high enough concentration of acid to stay nice and tight. And if there's not enough acid, it gently opens up and allows reflux up through the esophagus, which feels to you like too much acid, when in reality, it can be not enough acid in your stomach. So while H. pylori itself can be a problem, the change in stomach acid drives a lot of the problems we commonly see in clinical practice. We see digestive symptoms like heaviness after meals, gas and bloating, sometimes loose stools or constipation, loss of appetite, and even reflux or the sensation of too much acid. So address the H. pylori population or infection, absolutely, but also address acid recovery because that is the crucial start of digestion and one of the best ways to help your patient recover as well as avoiding recurrence of an H. pylori infection.